It is time now for sports. It is day two of training camp for the Arizona Cardinals. All right, let's go live out to Team 12's Cameron Cox over at State Farm Stadium along with Lena Washington with more on what happened inside the Dome this afternoon. Hey, guys. Hey guys, good evening. Welcome out to Cards Camp. Day two is in the books. I'm telling you, it was nice to see the fans, and it was nice to see the energy get turned up as we continue on camp out here in Glendale. The biggest thing today, the Bird Gang. In the building for the first time, Lena Washington did some stadiums for us. Yeah. Got a chance to talk to some fans. Lena, we've spent the past few days talking with players about expectations. The biggest thing is they don't know what the expectations are. The only thing that's clear, they don't want to talk about last year. So fans, what's their vibe check? Yeah, and the players also don't pay attention to the outside yeah. noise or whatever perception people for watching, have guys. Yeah, of them from people like us, right? But the fans are understanding that this is going to be a rebuilding year. But overall, from the Bird Gang members that I heard from, they're optimistic. They say this is going to be a new era with a new coach. They've seen other teams in the Valley do it, and now the Cardinals are in the process of revamping this whole franchise, really, and they're looking forward to it. They even got the candy paint black helmets out here already for the fans. It's kind of the beginning of the season. You know, you just want to try to get feel what it's like being part of the team again. Yeah. Helmet included, just in case he needed to go in. Lena, new, refreshed are things that I take away from Camp Soar. And I'm sure fans saw that today. And when you ask guys about it, it all starts with the head coach. I've never even seen JG not talk full speed. Like, it's, it's all... When that's just that's who he is. It's not like a persona. It's not like one of those like I'm gonna sell this to the media. That's like that's who he is for real. Lena, there are plenty of battles up for grabs in camp. The one we watched today was right tackle. Very interesting note. Rookie first round pick Paris Johnson Jr. getting all the reps over Kelvin Beecham, who was Mr. Consistent last year on this line. It was actually interesting hearing him say he couldn't sleep the night before training camp. He was anxious. He still loves the game. He loves this process. What's more, most important is get my, my craft right. So when I do have to be out there and ready, I'm ready to do my job. My mindset is just to be my, my best self, and I just want to be a great addition to the team. Speaking of the old line, man, they were on a different level today. Lena, we found out we got some bougie offensive linemen. Yeah, but you know the offensive linemen are going to come with the personality, sure. right? DJ Humphreys, I asked him, you know, what are you putting Paris Johnson through? Because I know there are rookie duties. They're going on scavenger hunts. They're having to spend a whole lot of money on a whole lot of snacks to feed a whole lot of big guys on the O-line. We spent $800 um, on Amazon on snacks, <laughs> clearly Canadian. Been hitting him like old school, like nostalgia stuff to just see if he can find it. And just kind of watch him scramble and look for it and get a good tickle. Cause he's very cool and calm. So it's like, sometimes you ask him to get something. He's like, what, what is that? And he, he'll figure it out eventually. He's like, oh, okay, I see you, man. Good, good job. I don't, I didn't really want it, but I, thanks for you going to get it. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. Lena, what's on your snack list? What, what are we buying here? Well, I actually have to give a shout out to Isaiah Simmons because he put me on to the Nerds Clusters, <laughs> the blue pack, not the pink pack for him. Uh, so thank you, Zay, for putting me on to that. What about you, Cam? Yeah, I, I, I want to know what these international snacks are. I just want to dig in the box and pick a few out. We'll have to see if DJ Humphreys and Beecham and, and, uh, and the guys will share a little bit with us. So that'll do it for us from here. Day two of Cardinals Camp. To read all about the news and notes of the day, head over to 12news.com or download the 12 News app. We'll have much more from here coming up tonight at 10 o'clock. Guys, back to you.